What is up you guys Orlando here with Lisha Record Studio another video for you guys today we're gonna answer to one of our subscribers and this subscriber is from my channel in Spanish and he wanted to know how to use the quick controls to automate Pro-Q3 actually within Cubase and this is a following question from another video I did already like four months ago and we're answering that today so let's jump to it So right here on the back, I have a beat um, that's going to be playing while we do this. And of course, we're going to use today Pro-Q3. This EQ has actually become kind of the standard of the industry, so to speak. I did not have this EQ before, believe it or not. I just recently got it because I needed to do this tutorial. <laughs> so this is how much I appreciate my subscribers. The first thing you need to know is that my MIDI keyboard, the one that you see right here, this Arturia Keylab 49, it's already mapped right from the get-go with Cubase 12. That's one of the advantages of Cubase 12. They included the MIDI remote, uh, as you can see here. And this is gonna map my keyboard already uh, to all the controls, so I don't need to map any of that that's already set and go going to quick controls right here in this case i know i'm gonna use band to control um the low cut i know i'm gonna have a band to control the uh, mid section right here and i'm gonna have another band that is gonna control the high end of the sound so i'm gonna have three bands here on this eq right now once those bands are set up already we're gonna actually map this to this controls right here so the first thing you need to do is select the band that you want to do that and click here on learn mode select the first parameter and here we're gonna control with this parameter actually the frequency. So that's gonna control the frequency and on this second uh, control, I'm gonna control the Q, okay? And that's gonna be for my cut. That's gonna be for my first band actually. For my second band here, the one on the middle, I'm gonna control the frequency and it's just a matter of moving this around I'm gonna go to the next uh, parameter right here and I'm gonna control uh, the Q. And on the following parameter, I'm going to control the gain, okay? So that's set up already. And I'm gonna do the same for this other band. So I'm gonna control the frequency. I'm gonna select the other one. Control the Q. And on the last uh, knob right here, I'm gonna control the volume. Now you can go ahead and move it around and you have control over that. So if I want to uh, control that, uh, I have that control with the Q and it's just a matter of adjusting those. And it's a pretty easy workflow uh, from that side and you know, makes your life way easier. So let's try that out. Uh, let's take a listen to what we can do with this. So here's one error I actually made when doing that. And it's, I needed to deselect the learn mode right there. So right now on the uh, third band, this one it's, was supposed to be the gain. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna set up to gain, that's good. And I'm gonna uncheck the learn mode. Now I have the volume right there. So 
Yeah, don't make that mistake, actually. So let's take a listen again. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So before. That's pretty nice. And as you can see, guys, uh, you can control all those knobs here on the keyboard. And that's already preset on the quick controls. And you can set it up to whatever you want. After that, if you want to control another thing uh, here, you can also do that and change these parameters to control whatever you want. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial today. And until next one, guys, don't stress. Do your best. Be blessed. Forget the rest. See you around.